It's the holiday season and you've got RPG and D&D gifts to buy for others and maybe yourself. Um, listen, I won't tell anyone if you want to get some things for yourself. Obviously, I get things for myself. I won't tell. Uh, let's open up um, this one from Cantrip Candles. Let's go open it up. Welcome adventurers. If you love all things D&D and RPG, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the great videos I've got coming up. Okay, so I've got a shipment here from Cantrip Candles. Let me tell you a little bit about them. They are Los Angeles based. Christoph, the owner, was looking for a way to add sense to the ambiance of his RPG games and he came up with Cantrip Candles. These are 100% soy wax. They use only fine quality fragrance oils and they use cotton-based wicks. So these candles are 100% vegan, which I also love. They are hand poured in small batches. They have the little tea light size, okay, which, uh, which comes in their sampler pack and those will burn for about four hours or so. They have six ounce tins, which I ordered right here, which will burn for about 30 to 35 hours. And they have big 16 ounce glass jars, which burn for about 60 to 70 hours. And the best part is they put a D20 down inside the wax, the bottom. So once you melt the whole candle down, you've got a really awesome, cool metal D20. They also have these adorable little books of matches that look like little spell books. This one is Basic Conjurations Volume 1. All right, let's get some scissors and open this up. Now this came all the way from Los Angeles to my side of the States in Massachusetts and they used priority two-day shipping, which is great. All right, nice sturdy cardboard packaging. Perfect size box here for two tins. I don't remember what scents I got, so we're gonna have to check this out. Let's see. Oh, cute little card that says, thanks for your support. Shows some really cool people sitting around playing games with their candles going. Oh, and a little thank you card. Uh, as a small business, we strive to provide you with the best quality candles and products to enhance your immersion. That's awesome. Oh, I can smell them already. They smell so good. Okay, so we got some uh, packaging in here so that they don't bump into each other. Okay. Oh, these are so fantastic. So these are the six ounce tins that I got. These again, burn for about 30 to 35 hours. They burn so evenly. I don't know if you've ever had the experience of like a candle burning a hole down the middle and the wax on the sides not melting, but these soy candles burn so evenly, it's amazing. Now they have adorable um, little labels on here. The lid actually looks like a little dungeon map, which is adorable. And it says handcrafted in Los Angeles. Uh, no spell slot required and their website. Okay, and I couldn't remember which two I got, but I ordered the Black Hound Tavern and Dungeon Depths. So the Black Hound Tavern, they both, they all have like a little script on them to kind of describe the scent, which is awesome. So this says, the Black Hound Tavern is a dark and cozy spot that's perfect for anyone who fancies a bit of quiet. That sounds just like me. The smell of aged, uh, the smell of barrel aged whiskey permeates the room. A soft crackling fireplace invites any hero to sit and enjoy a stiff brew. And on this side of the label, it says there are notes of whiskey and firewood in this one. Oh, so there's our beautiful soy candle, cotton wick in the middle. Oh, that smells so good, definitely. Whiskey and firewood for sure. Oh, I can't wait to light these. Okay. And my other one, like I said, was Dungeon Depths. Miles of winding tunnels and passageways form a network of danger and mystery. 
Torches smolder and flicker against the damp cavern walls as you get closer to your destination or perhaps your doom. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so this is Dungeon Depths. says it has notes of dust, stone, and water. Let's check this one out. Oh, that smells so good too. Mmm, I can definitely smell the water. Mmm, dust, stone, and water. I like it. It definitely smells like the inside of a dungeon. And this, the inside of a tavern. Guys, these candles are so great. You've got to check them out yourself. Adventurers, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and go ahead and smash that like button to help us out and give us some more likes on this video. Also, it's time for the epic question of the day. I have to know, do you guys use any kind of props and things to enhance your gameplay like smells or sounds? Um, I actually use cantrip candles to make a great smell in the room depending on where we're uh, adventuring that day. I've also used music, background music in our games to enhance a play experience. Whether I'm just playing a YouTube video on the television in the next room, or I've even used uh, Sirenscape to make some really unique background music for battles and ex exploration and role-playing, things like that. And props. Props are another thing that I love putting in my game to just kind of enhance the experience. Uh, one time I even went to the craft store and actually made my, my players a really very rudimentary quick little bag of holding that they could have just because I enjoy handing people things across the table and saying, you find this. Um, I find it really enhances the gameplay a lot. So I want to know, do you use any kind of things like that to enhance your gameplay? Music, smells, food even, or props? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm dying to hear what you guys use in your games. Maybe you got some great ideas that I can pick up for my game. <laughs> now I did receive a sampler set and a library scriptorium six ounce tin from Cantrip Candles previously that I did in an unboxing that you can watch right up here if you wanna go check out that video too. Now, Cantrip Candles are so popular that they sell out very quickly. What I suggest you do is you need to go over to their website and sign up for email notifications because then you'll get an email when they're about to restock the store. And that way you can jump online when things are live and posted in the store and grab what you want before they sell out again real quick. I'll put a link in the description below to their website so you can sign up for that email. Now, some of the other scents that they have, this was Blackhound Tavern and Dungeon Depths. They have things like Coffee Shop, Sanctuary, Stone Moss Chapel, Walk in the Woods, Brinewater Tides, and my personal favorite from having the sampler set, Den of Thieves. I will get another Den of Thieves one day when they restock. <laughs> Be sure to also check out my unboxing playlist for lots of other awesome epic unboxing videos. Now go have an epic adventure.